Hi, in this lesson we will be seeing about managing concurrent processing. First we will be seeing about log files of concurrent managers and concurrent requests. Then we will see how to use cpadmin.sh tool. The log files of concurrent processing are very very important. There are two types of log files which you need to understand. The first thing is the manager that is concurrent manager log files and the second thing is the request log files that is concurrent request log files. The concurrent manager log files can be seen from the front end and also the back end. The concurrent manager log files can be seen from the front end by using the administer form then select a specific uh, just click on processes then the manager log. And from the back end, you can check for the log files from APPL CSF APL log. In the APL CSF APL log, you can see .mgr files which denote the manager log files and .rq files which are the concurrent request log files. So now let us go to the front end and try to submit a concurrent request. I am going to request and I am opening the form now. So here what I will do is first I will submit a concurrent request. I am going to run for example active users, active responsibilities and users and I am going to submit. I don't want to submit any other request. Go to find and you can see that it is in pending normal. Now it is running normal. And while it is running, let us go to the concurrent manager administrator. And here you can see that the standard manager is currently running one request. That is what we have submitted right now. Now our focus is on manager log files right now. So what you have to check here is if I want to check the internal manager log file, I can simply click on it and go to processes and check the internal manager log. This internal, internal concurrent manager log file. Similarly, if I want to check any other manager log file, I have to simply select that. For example, I want to check standard manager log file. Select it and click on process and then manager log. This shows the concurrent manager log file. Now, I have submitted a specific request that is concurrent request for running active users and responsibilities. So let us go back to the request form again and let us try to find the request and you can see that the active responsibilities request is now complete. So see the request ID 7549117. Now let us go to the back end and I have already set the run file system environment. First, run eco dollar appl csf slash appl log. And this is a path where you basically have the details of the log files. Similarly, you can also access the out file location that is output file location using this. This is the out. And I'm sorry, I think the APL log was wrong actually here. There is an additional P. APPL log. Yeah. So this is the log file location and this is the out file location. The first thing what we'll do is we'll go to the log file. And if you give LSF and LTR, you can see a lot of files. Some with .mgr, some with .txt and some with .rq. Usually the information which is related to the workflow and other requests will be there in .txt and .mgr denotes the manager log files whereas .rq denotes the request log files. And we have seen in the form that the request we have submitted is 7549117 and you can see here the same request name or the number. So this is the log file which is related to this specific concurrent request which, which we have submitted. And you can see that the request is successfully complete. Now the .mgr files which you see are concurrent manager and when you see something with SID underscore the process number .mgr this is the internal concurrent manager log file. And similarly you can see lot of other .txt and .mgr files 
which are related to for example output post processor service manager and other transactional managers inventory manager etc and similarly you can check the output files also for example i can go one directory back and go to out file and you can see the out file of this specific concurrent request which we have submitted that is active users and responsibilities so this is the output so it's very important for dbas to always make sure that the request files and out files locations are known to them now there is a new tool introduced for the past in the last 1 to 2 years of time that is cpadmin.sh the cpadmin.sh helps the dbas to monitor and manage the concurrent processing so what you can do with cpadmin.sh you can check the manager statuses you can clean the cp tables cp tables means the concurrent processing related tables and why it is it important sometimes you have issues with the concurrent managers either they don't start properly or they are they're not processing the request for example or the the data which is related to the concurrent processing is actually not accurate for example the processes ids are not properly updated in the tables because of which the concurrent managers are not properly functioning when you want to when you have these kind of issues in the concurrent processing then what you can do is you can simply run the clean cp tables and that will basically reset all the tables remember it will not delete any data it will just make sure that the concurrent manager specific processes are cleaned up and then you should be able to ideally start the concurrent processing as usual you can also stop start and verify individual concurrent managers from here and rebuild the manager views more request files analyze requests and configure the request log file and output out locations as well so let us go to the os level again and run cpadmin.sh give apps password and you can see here administer administer concurrent managers and administer concurrent requests i'm going to set the first option you can see the manager status for example display all running concurrent managers so when you see the active and target process here that means that all managers are running fine and similarly i can see i'll go go back go back to the menu and there is an option called clean concurrent processing tables as i told before and this will basically ensure that all tables are cleaned and it will reset the ic icm startup so that the next time when you are restarting the concurrent managers you don't have any issues and there are diagnostics and also you can basically time a specific requ request to shut down a specific manager and also you can rebuild the views in case of any issues so these are the options which you can basically do from the cpadmin.sh and also you can basically change the locations of the log files and out files and move the request files or analyze any specific concurrent request as well